Again in high school, in Mr. Morgan's class, again, there were three main things we learned in there. It was supposed to be a programming class, and we learned Corel or Carol. Uh, <laughs> watch previous videos if to, to get that. Um, uh, then we learned some QBasic, but then we also learned PowerPoint, which isn't really programming. It was kind of silly, um, but I wanted to take it a step further, so I was figuring out how to do these animations, and um, I was able to animate some stuff, but I wanted to put some like real animations in there, so I... Uh, at home, I was playing, again at the time, Duke Nukem was popular, and um, Shadow Warrior uh, was an awesome game, which was, you know, based on the Duke Nukem game engine, pretty sure, uh, made by the same people anyway. And there was like a opening scene shot, there was just like a few frames of animation of, uh, of uh, Wang was his name, Wang, and he was just like punching a punching bag or something, he was doing something in his dojo. Well, I took those like, you know, five frames of animation, put them on a floppy disk, brought, because I wanted to put this in one of my PowerPoint uh, presentations, because it would be so cool to have an animation like that. Well, I pop in the floppy disk, and, um, and... Of course, they've disabled the floppy drive in, in Windows. Um, but I quickly found out in that class, and this was true for many, many, many years later up in, in college in the mid-2000s, this was still true. You'd go to a Windows machine and they'd have certain drives disabled, but you open up uh, your CMD prompt, and if CMD was disabled, you you run a command prompt, the you know command dot com, which was very similar but a little different than CMD. So lots of times they would disable CMD, but they wouldn't disable command. Uh, so you'd be able to start with shell that way, and you'd have access to all the drives. So I was able to copy over the pictures from the floppy drive, and I showed the teacher, and he's like, "How did you do that?" You know, and I explained to him because because. We didn't have internet in the classroom at that time. I'm like, well, I, I put on this floppy. How did you? And I showed him how I got access to the floppy. And he freaked out. Not that he was mad at me, but he was afraid that he was going to get in trouble that I did that. So he asked me not to do that anymore. Um, but I did learn a skill there, uh, which is basically uh, Windows is completely insecure. And although uh, nowadays... Uh, it's a lot easier to disable stuff because I'm telling you all the way at Windows XP every every Windows XP machine Which I know Windows XP has been dead kind of sort of for for many years now uh, For through through all all of Windows XP life I would go to schools or libraries or these places and they would you, you would see they would have things things disabled but you were very easily to get around it just by running um, the command or CMD. It's like Windows, they would be disabled in Windows, but not in the shell. So, anyway, good class, learn some stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.